here we are two years to the day alcohol free um, it's gone quite quickly actually i think um just gonna move back because the light looks a bit odd um <clears throat> what made me do it um probably realized that i drank too much so decided um probably peaked um drinking champagne all day because it's so decadent i remember it being very decadent drinking champagne all day um and i just thought fed up of drinking really don't want to drink anymore and i am an an all or nothing person so quite often i would say oh i'm going to have one drink tonight or two or and that turned into two bottles um so i just said I had a friend down from London and she was, she told me about a couple um, that had bought a house near us in Spain and um, they hadn't drunk, the pair of them had given up together and they hadn't drunk for 10 years. And I said, oh, I'd like to not drink as well. And she agreed. Um, and then we had quite a heavy weekend. It was half term, had a really heavy weekend. We were out with the kids and she left and I decided, um, that I was going to give up and whenever I decide I'm going to do something it's a bit like 2012 when same friend actually we decided we were going to run the London Marathon um well, it was 2011 we decided we were going to run it in 2012 um I went and bought a book you know how to run the marathon how to train for a marathon so I thought if I'm going to go up drinking I need some sort of help and um AA obviously was an option, although I have never said that I was an alcoholic. I always describe my drinking as an unhealthy relationship with alcohol. Um, so went to Waterstones. I was there really early in the morning. Went to Waterstones and looked through all the books about healthy living and um, giving up drinking. I think it was called Ditch ditch the drink easily or something. It was bright pink, I remember that cover. And inside it had boxes, sort of, I don't know, it must have had things in boxes. And I just liked the layout of it. I thought I can read that quite easily. So I like to skip read everything. And um, so I started reading it, probably morning, lunchtime. And I finished it about two or three a.m. I didn't do anything else that day except read that book and uh, put the book down and said, I'm never going to have a drink again. And here we are two years on. The book said lots of things that I probably haven't followed totally. Like it did say things like don't drink um, non-alcohol versions. And I didn't probably for eight, ten months. Um, so I didn't even try non-alcoholic wine or, and I didn't really drink beer before, unless I was in Spain and it was freezing cold and I took a cool box to the beach, didn't really drink beer. But now I do drink a lot of um, Bex Blue or Heineken Zero. Don't really drink non-alcoholic wine. It doesn't really do it for me. I drink, I drink the beer, I think, because I like the volume and to drink Diet Coke all night, or if we go out for the day to the cricket or something, to drink Diet Coke all day and all night, oh, it's just too much. Um, so I do drink that because it's not too gassy. I do drink the um, non-alcoholic beer. That was one thing it said. Also, it said don't count how long you haven't had a drink for, but that's quite difficult. Um, and I must have put it in my calendar because last week, I knew it was about this time because I knew it's half term in May. So um, I knew it was coming and then it came up on my calendar that today it was two years that I hadn't had a drink. Um, people say, people say all sorts of things. Oh, if you can give up drinking completely, why can't you just have one? I don't know if I can just have one. So what's the point in having one? So I don't bother. Um, someone said to me today, do you really miss it when you see other people drinking? Do you really miss it? I don't actually. Um, I find I find some people boring now. I just leave things earlier, I think. I mean, I can do balls and I can do weddings, no problem at all. But I do need to be talking to someone interesting because the people that drink and drink all day and then they're just repeating themselves or telling you how much they love you, that's not really... You don't really want to hear that when you've been out all day. So um, you want to talk to interesting people. Um, 
So yeah, there we have it. And so I thought probably I needed a treat. So I just popped in to, um, do, 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 do. and I thought I need to serve a treat because imagine all the money I saved uh, not drinking, although taxes, definitely saved money in taxes because obviously I drive now, uh, but I just thought I deserved a treat. So um, picture of the treat will be following shortly. And um, if anyone would like some inspiration or, you know, a guru or someone to spur them on, then that could be me. I now drink lots of tea. I also now drink loads of coffee. I didn't drink coffee at all before. Did I lose weight? Yes, I did to start with. Lost loads of weight. But now it's all gone back on because I've replaced the sugar in wine for the sugar in cakes. And I eat a lot of cakes. I love cakes. Um, so... Um, am I happier? Yes, I am.